<laughs> it's all right for some. We're going to get the old maypole up today, Patch. How do you fancy giving me a hand? Uh, Paul. OK, you stay here. Little Red Tractor and I can manage. So, what's this maypole thing for, then? It's to welcome in the spring. We do it every year. It's planted in a field and then we tie ribbons to it. And dance around it. It's great. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird to me. Hiya, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Hello, you lot. Come to help with the maypole, eh, Leo? Uh, yeah. I think so. We've been telling Leo all about them. Not sure I'll be doing any dancing, though. Oh, you will. It's dead easy. Don't reckon it's my sort of dancing, though. I do a bit more like this. Oh, look at that. The old maypole's gone rotten over the winter. Oh, there mightn't be any dancing at all. Oh, no. Still, we'll just go and find another. Come on. Let's go to Tawny Owl Wood. We'll find something suitable there. Brilliant! OK, let's get looking. Now, what we want is a nice, long, straight piece of wood. Not a living branch or anything. Can't take the living stuff. Bet I find it! Bet I do! Oh, the spring it is a-coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a... That's not very rock and roll, Dad. Well, no, but I, I, I'm practising for the May Day celebrations tomorrow, aren't I? Oh, the spring it is a coming in, a coming in. Yeah, you're right. It's not very rock and roll. Whoa, spring along a whop a bop a ding a dang a dang. That's rock and roll. Uh, Stan, how about this? Would this do? Well done, Leo. Just the job. A dead tree. You'll have this down in no time, won't you, little red tractor? <laughs> OK, stand back, you lot. Steady as you go. A good push and we'll have it. Tim! Yay, yes, red tractor! OK. Now to strip it of its branches and plant it in the field. Uncle Jasper, I don't... Not just now, Thomas. I'm making sure my stall's all present and correct. Yes, and there's something Should make you... a pretty penny if the May Day celebrations can't beat May Day for a chance to make a spot of money. <laughs> my cheese went like hotcakes last... Um, last... Yeah. Oh, for goodness! That's what I've been trying to tell you, Uncle Jasper. Remember the bonfire you made just before Christmas? Oh, yes. I used the legs to get the bonfire started. Yes, you said you wouldn't be needing them. How wrong I was. Mm -hmm. Just have to find something else. I'll bet Stan could help out. He usually has that sort of thing knocking about at Gosling Farm. There. One maypole all ready for May Day. No, it isn't. We need some ribbon. And we ought to paint it, too. Now that's what I call a good idea. I've got all the stuff we need back at the farm. Come on. All right then, Elsie, I will. Go and play somewhere else, she says. <laughs> i got to rehearse, don't I? Well, well, perhaps she's got a point. Might be better to rehearse together, like, and, and me and Walter ain't played it since last spring. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is. Oh, the spring it is. Stumpy, watch out! Watch out! Are you all right? Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> never better. <laughs> oh, sorry, Stan. Should have been looking where I was going. On my way to Walters to do a spot of rehearsing. You know, for the May Day celebrations. Good stuff. But I don't think driving along with that thing on the handlebars was the best idea in the world. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> and now Nipper's... <clears throat> Nipper's stuck! <clears throat> Looks like another job for you, little red tractor. Good day to you. 
Delicious, lovely day for it. Mm. Grass tasting nice today, is it? <laughs> Oh, that was close. Could have given you a nasty scratch, Big Blue. Mm. Stupid place to leave a pole. Ah, a pole! Just the very thing we're looking for. No need to bother Stan now. I need to save someone else crashing into it, too. Right, Stumpy. We'll soon have Nipper out now. Steady as you go, Stan. Ooh, that's it, little red tractor. He's coming! Nice really one, Little Red Tractor! Is. There you go! Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> thanks, Little Red Tractor. Right. There. And this time, make sure you can see where you're going. Oh, I will, Stan. Don't want to see the inside of another hedge today. <laughs> right. Come on, you lot. We've got a maypole to paint, remember? Yippee! Oh, yeah! Here they are. You can't go maypole dancing without some nice bright ribbons. Dad, can we use these paintbrushes? Yep, just the job. How about red? Or blue? No, a maypole has to be white. Here we are. Right, let's get that maypole painted and quick. It'll be time for your tea pretty soon. It was just there. It can't have been. It was. Maybe it fell over. Maybe the cows decided to play with it. <laughs> I, I don't think so, Leo. Cows aren't usually that interested in games. Well, it's gone. We'll just have to go and find another one. Afraid not, Ryan. It's getting late. But what about May Day? It won't be proper without a maypole. I'll think of something, I hope. But right now, it's time I was getting you back for your tea. What a lovely day for it. Uncle Jasper. But now, Thomas, this requires a little concentration. But, Uncle Jasper, I thought there was supposed to be a maypole. Oh, steady, Nipper. <laughs> Hello there, young Thomas. Morning, Mr Jones. Hm. He's concentrating. Oh. <laughs> uh, Walter here yet. Can't do the springtime song without... With... <laughs> Hang on. Where's the maypole? Stan said he'd planted one here yesterday. He was going to paint it and tie ribbons to it and all. Said it was here. Yeah, Mr Jones, you haven't seen it, have you? The maypole. The, uh, may, the, the, the maypole. The maypole? I... Ah. Uncle Jasper, where did you get those new table legs from? I... 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 Oh, dear. Something the matter, Mr Jones. Stan, I... 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 I don't know where to begin. I've done something rather stupid. You, Mr. Jones? You, uh, you, uh, you, you know that maypole? Yes. One minute it was here, next minute it was gone. Well, it's back here again. It's, um, <coughs> in four little bits. I didn't realise what it was. I, I, I'm sorry, Stan. Very, very sorry. I've spoilt everything. Oh, I'm sure we can think of something. <laughs> I think Little Red Tractor may have the answer. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Charles, that will stop you getting sunburnt. Your turn now, George. Why is he rubbing sunblock on the pigs? He's gone daft. Maybe the heat's got to him. No, 
Not Stan. Hello, you two. I didn't see you there. Are you OK? Never better. Are you sure you're OK? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I see. No, I know it looks strange, but I have to make sure my pigs don't get sunburnt. Pigs don't get sunburnt? Of course they do. Their skin is a lot like ours. Talking of which, you two had better put some of this on as well. Mum's already covered us in that stuff. You can never be too careful, especially when it's as hot as it is today. What are you going to do now? Yeah, and can we come and help? Sure. Now, what shall we do first? Patch up the barn roof, fix the leaking gutter... Oh, Stan! It's too hot to do that sort of thing. What about driving around on literary tractor? We'd be nice and cool in the trailer. I've got a better idea. What about going back to the farm and making some ice lollies? Great! Yeah! Oh, Stumpy! I wish you'd get off your backside and do something. I am doing something. I'm milling the corn. It's not my fault there's no wind to drive the mill. If there's no wind, surely you could be painting the bathroom instead. Oh, no, you see, else, if I were painting the bathroom, there's no way I could possibly get the milling done. Yes, but... but... oh, I give up. It's too hot to argue. <laughs> Nobody passing by my way Too hot to go, too hot to stay Nothing to see, nothing to do Oh, garage life on a sunny day Hi, Walter. Getting a bit of practice in? Yeah, but something ain't right. I've got no rock today. And for, and for a rock and roll man like me not to have any rock, well, well, I'm all roll. Perhaps it's just too hot to rock. Yeah, I like that, Stan. It's too hot to rock that gang of jungle. Wow, yeah, not bad. Think I'll shut up shop early today, see if Stumpy feels like jamming with me. Uh, before you do that, can we get some oranges and lemons from you? We're going to make fresh fruit ice ollies. Stan's going to show us how. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'll tell you what, you can have the fruit on the house if you make an extra lolly for me. It's a deal. Oh, marvellous. Is that my flower there, Stumpy? Nope. That's still your corn there. What? My, my, my corn? But why is it still corn and not flower? Wind. Wind? There isn't any. But... If the wind don't blow, then the sails don't go round. Yes, but you... If the sails don't go round, then the millstones don't turn. I know, but you... And it's... if the millstones don't turn, then the corn don't get ground. Ah, oh, this is infuriating. There must be something you can do. No wind, no milling. Without the flour, I can't get my money from the bakery. Without the money from the bakery, I can't buy a new hat. Without the... Oh, listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Stumpy. There's no point getting all hot and bothered. Do like I do. Chill out. Chill out. Yeah, kick back. Relax. <laughs> right, here we go. I didn't think that making lollies would be as hard as this. It will all be worth it. What do we do now? First, add a little sugar to the lemon juice and then top up both the jugs with water. There we go. Is that it? That's it. So what do we do now? Now we wait. You know, it's really very rare that I do absolutely nothing. Even on my days off, I tend to go fishing. <laughs> but I have to say, this is marvellous. <laughs> oh, you can't beat milling on a windless day. Hello, fellas. What are you up to? We're milling. <laughs> Looks more like you're chilling than milling. <laughs> well, there's no wind, see? And milling is a slow process when there's no wind. Here, how do you fancy a spot of rehearsing then, Stumpy? Oh, no can do. If I'm busy rehearsing, I'll never get all that corn ground. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Well, in that case, I'll grab a deck chair and help you with the milling. 
Are the lollies ready yet? No, not yet. It's a shame Little Red Tractor can't eat lollies to help him cool down. He doesn't need lollies. When his engine is running, he has a big fan that blows fresh air onto him. That's what keeps him cool. But lollies taste nice. What about now, Stan? Are they ready now? Let's take a look. Yeah! Frozen solid. Great! Can I have a leather one? There you go. Mmm. I think that we may have made a few too many here. We could take some to Mum and Dad. And some to Stumpy and Elsie. Thanks. Mmm. I see it's too hot to rock. I see water. It's too hot to rock. Water. Yeah? Can you keep it down? I'm trying to chill. Oh, sure. Yeah. No problema. It's just that I'm naturally quite noisy. It's like my old mum used to say. She used to say, what am I, son? You are the sunshine of my life. But <laughs> you don't half make a racket. Walter! <laughs> Sorry. Hello, you lot. Mum, Dad, we've got ice lollies. We've made them ourselves. We've actually made too many, so we were wondering if you two would like one. Oh, yes, please. Oh, you bet. What a great idea. I haven't had a lollipop in a long time. Lollipops are off the menu for an athlete such as myself. I was going to ask you about that. I couldn't help noticing that you're not exercising. Oh, I tried, believe you me. I don't like missing my daily exercise, but it's just too, too hot. Oh, I was overheating. Little Red Tractor has a big fan that keeps him cool. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, <laughs> when someone invents a fan big enough to cool down the human body, you just let me know. In the meantime, I will just have to stick to lollipops and inactivity. We'd better get going. We've got a few more lollies to deliver before they melt. See you later! Yeah. Hmm, tasty. It was bad enough when I had one layabout. Now I've got three of them. Oh, Elsie, love, any chance of something cold to drink? It's roasting out here. You know where the kitchen is. Hmm, I'm not so sure he does. I've never actually seen him in there. Hello. What's going on here? I'm milling. But there's no wind. So, we're chilling. Oh, dear. And you with all the corn to mill, Stumpy. Never mind. There are always days like these. Can't be helped. <sighs> hmm. I think I may have an idea. If Little Red Tractor doesn't mind a bit of hard work, that is. Cool enough four, for you, Mr. Turvey. Lovely. <laughs> Although I am starting to work up a bit of a sweat now. Did you hear that, little red tractor? Oh, oh do slow down, little red tractor. Oh, I can hardly keep up. Well, I really think Stumpy should learn to chill out. <laughs> yeah, then he would be as cool as all of us. <laughs> No one could be as cool as Little Red Tractor. Yeah, he's the coolest. Yeah! 